sometimes it's very difficult to get the very straightforward solution to the problem or simplify an expression to a simple expression uh, in an in a forward way however it often happens that you see some kind of pattern in the expression but you don't know how to prove the pattern so here one of the ways is to use uh, induction to prove your hypothesis uh, without actually forward, forward working out the expression so we would demonstrate that idea using this problem so we want to find the closed expression for this one which means a simple expression one expression where you could plug the n and get the number instead of doing the n radicals again and again so that's like if the if i want to get a 1000 that means i have this expression but i have to compute the radical 100 1000 times so that's not very efficient so by looking at the first couple terms of this expression a1 is square root of 2 uh, a2 is going to be square root of 2 plus square root of 2 so one idea is that comes to mount to to mind is mm, this looks like 2 times cosine pi over 4 or what's cosine pi over cos uh, if you do the cosine pi over 8 the half of cosine pi over 4 you can use half angle formula uh, half angle formula you can obtain the half angle formula from double angle formula so what you get is square root of cosine pi over 4 so that's cosine pi over 4 plus 1 over 2 so if you simplify this expression so this is square root of 2 over 2 what you get is uh, square root 2 plus 2 over 2 and the square root so as you can see a2 is basically 2 times cosine pi over 8 so looking at the first two terms we can already see some kind of pattern maybe you can work out a3 then get uh, verify get more confidence in the idea so looking at this part i can claim that a n is probably 2 times cosine pi over 2 to the power n plus 1 so if i plug 1 i get pi over 2 to the power 2 which is 4 if i plug a1 a2 i get pi over 8 so that's that should work so the base case is already here so now i want to prove that uh, the step of the induction if I assume that this one is true, then uh, I expect that it should be true for a n is equal to k plus 1. So a k plus 1 is equal to square root of 2 plus uh, I still have k radicals here, but I can replace that with a k. So if I write this, since the formula is true for this one, I would, instead of that, I would write the closed form of that, uh, k plus 1 square root. Now I can use the half angle formula, the half angle formula for this one. So maybe I should 
uh, since I have two here, I should take out two and write the expression as follows. One plus cosine pi over two k plus one over two. So everything inside the radical. So when I take these two inside inside the radical, that would become four. And four will be simplified with two and then gets multiplied by two. So this is basically what's under the square root is is a double angle formula. So half angle formula. Let me put the half angle formula. 1 plus cosine alpha over 2 is equal to cosine 2 alpha. So this becomes okay so this is not cos so cosine half uh, half of the cosine alpha so this becomes because it's a half angle formula so two we always have two and multiply it what's under the squ square root becomes cosine pi over two to the power k plus two so if and uh, my assumption hypothesis is true for n is equal to k then it's true for n is equal to k plus 2 so the formula the simplest form of this expression is 2 to the power cosine pi over 2 to the power n plus 1 so when you get uh, 1000 uh, radicals you can just compute 2 to the power n plus 1 pi over 2 to the power n plus 1 get this angle and then the cosine of that so that's if you put this into calculator it's like one straightforward two operations